In the anti-regime protest in January this year, people were chanting, down with dictators, be it the Shah or the Supreme Leader. It could seem odd for outsiders to see Iranians uh, bringing back today from the ashes of history the name of the Shah, simultaneously with the name of the leader of today's dictatorship. Surprisingly, more than a historical parallel, they are referring to an ongoing alliance. In the history of Iran, these two political factions, monarchists and theocrats, have always been helping each other against democratic forces. In the 1953 coup d'etat against Prime Minister Mossadegh, a liberal reformist who was opening a democratic path for Iranians, the religious leader at the time, Ayatollah Kashani, acted in alliance with the Shah to bring Mossadegh down, accusing him of being a communist and putting an end to this early Iranian spring. Today, the Mullahs are in power, but the monarchists, despite all their enmity with this regime, prefer this regime to the free and democratic option that Iranians in the streets are claiming for. Interestingly enough, recently, Ardeshir Sahedi, a former Iranian minister, and most of all, an ambassador to the United States from the Shah era, attacked Washington for the military operation against Qasem Soleimani. He said in an interview, that the United States were the real terrorists. And he added, I have always been and will always be proud of Qasem Soleimani. He was the one who sacrificed his life for his country, unlike those who sell themselves for money. We all know that Qasem Soleimani was considered by Khomeini himself to be his preferred one, his successor, the one who was to take over the command in Iran after him. And we also know that Qasem Soleimani has been accused for executing thousands of Iranians, working for a regime that has proven to be corrupt to the bone, with wealthy leaders plundering on the country's resources, while their fellow citizens face hunger and deprivation. So what was Ardashir Sahedi talking about as a follower of the Shah? Who was he trying to fool? In fact, what people in the streets in Iran are telling us is that they haven't been fooled at all, that they understand better than anyone who these two forces and how these two forces play together in order to continue exploiting and robbing the country to their personal benefit. The objective alliance between theocrats and monarchists is also visible in another particular issue, in the way they both attack the Iranian democratic forces. Those that are uniting all protesters inside Iran and gathering international support outside its borders, those are for both of them the real enemy, namely the NCRI and especially the MEK, have been their common target because they can see how people in Iran are recognizing their leadership as a unifying organized force to defeat the regime and open finally the way to democracy.